Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me how I did the hallucination effects on, on the sky. So I figured I'd put together this little video walkthrough and show you exactly how I did them. Okay, so first thing you want to do is take your footage and then put that into a new comp. We'll just call that a hallucinate effect. And then within that comp, create four adjustment layers. On the first layer, call that optics. And then on the second layer, we'll call this displace. On the third layer, RGB. And then on the fourth layer, call it time. So on the first layer, we want to add an effect called optics compensation. And then what this is going to do is warp the edges of the frame and bring them towards you. So if you set reverse lens distortion and then crank up the field of view to sort of however high you want it really, and that's going to sort of dictate the, the severity of the effect. Um, what I like to do is track the center of this effect to the performer's face. It's their perspective, so they want to remain unchanged, but the outer edges and what they're seeing is getting affected. Um, you can also keyframe this effect in and out, so it's really cool when you sort of you see it come in or it pulses, and you sort of play around with the with the amount sort of throughout the frame. Really, um, on the second layer, we want to add an effect called turbulent displace, and what this is going to do is add kind of like a heat heat distortion effect. So if you mask out the center, again, so you, you don't want the performer's face to be affected by this, this effect, uh, just feather that mask a little bit. And then again, similar to the, the below effect, just track this to their face. And then what's great is this mask, you can then apply this mask to all the other layers. Um, so for the amount I set, minus 20, for the size, 120, and then I added a an expression to the evolution. This basically animates animates the effect and makes it sort of wobble around. The higher that number, the, the quicker it's going to animate. So on the next layer, we want to add our color shift. So add quick chromatic aberration. And then just crank that up. And then that adds the sort of the RGB color shift effect. If you put this below the optics compensation layer, then it removes those ugly edges. Um, and the same thing again, just take that mask, copy it and paste it on there, set it to subtract, then it just affects the outer edges and the hands. Um, you can also do this within After Effects, so you don't need to download that plugin. So just duplicate that layer three times, and then on each of those layers, add an effect called Set Channels. So on the top layer, you want to just leave red and remove the green and blue. On the layer beneath, you want to keep green and remove red and blue. And then on the layer beneath that, turn off green and red and just leave the blue. And then once you set all these layers to screen mode, then you'll be left with your original footage. So then pre-comp these. Just call this RGB shift. And then within that, you can go in there and sort of manually shift those around and create that effect yourself. And same again, just take that mask and copy and paste it on there. Cool, and then our final effect is the time echo effect. Now this is pretty tricky to get the hang of, but these are the settings that's worked for me. So with echo time, I've put as 0.1. And then number of echoes, I've put that as two. Starting intensity, left that as one. And then on the decay, I've put that to three. And this is the most important bit, change the echo operator to maximum. And it's you can see how it's creating this really cool ghosting effect onto sort of whatever element in the frame is moving. Um, for this instance, we just want it to be the hands, so we're going to mask out the face again. Yeah, so same thing again, you can animate this effect in and out, so when she raises her hands, I want that effect to kick in just then. Cool, and then by now we've got a pretty decent effect going on, but um, another thing that you can do is add some light leaks around the edges of the frame, and this is just going to sort of simulate the kind of hazy view of the, of the character. Um, these are free ones from Premium Beat. I'll add a link so that you can download those as well. But uh, it's a really, really simple effect to create, and yeah, it gives you some really cool, cool results. So yeah, have fun with it. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, I've put in the description all the links to the light leaks, the plugin, and my, also my project file. So all you need to do is drag and drop your footage into it, and then all the effects that we created will already be applied, and you can tweak them to wherever you need them, really. If you haven't already seen the sky, then go check it out. 
And if you want to see more short films and other filmmaking tips, then subscribe to my channel.